I'm going to walk you through how to perform a work order import by a CSV file. Uh, but before this, you should be pretty familiar with the ins and outs of work orders. And it's also a good idea to have watched the asset import video, which will just give you a better understanding of how imports work in maintenance assistant and some of the things that you might want to avoid. So performing the actual import is a pretty straightforward process. You'd head down to settings and click imports. So this is an administrator level feature. If you're a manager or a technician, you're not gonna be able to do this. Now, performing the import's actually relatively simple. The hard part is preparing the CSV file ahead of time. So I've got here um, a .csv file, which I've prepared in Excel. And basically what it is, is you have the uh, titles across the top. So I have work order code, asset code, or asset name the work order description, and then tasks. And these are the only fields you can import. So uh, basically the important things here are the description of the work order and then what tasks you have. And these are the only things, as I mentioned, you can capture. Um, the work order code, I've incremented here, but if I left this blank, uh, it's not a big deal because the system would just assign it as normal. So for line seven, if I didn't include this, it would just um, increment this to the next available number. So if I was on my 10th work order in the system, it would just assign this as being number 11. Okay, so it's not really necessary that I do this. The asset code or asset name, um, you'll notice for the second line here, I identified both. So the milling station in my main facility here, so the milling station has the code of 19, that's the asset code. So I've identified that here twice. I've listed both the asset code and the asset name, and really I only need one of these. So you'll notice for down here, I've listed only the asset code. And uh, for this one, I've listed the asset name. It's probably a better idea to do the code because these tend to be unique. So you're only gonna have one asset that has the code A11. You might have multiple assets that are called cat scanner. Uh, also, it's um, easier to make spelling mistakes here. If you have something that's like really long, X, cat scanner XKL, something like that. Um, this is a harder thing to spell than the asset code for that. Okay, so the asset code or asset name, um, this identifies the asset that the worker is gonna be attached to. And then there's only again, two other fields you can fill out. The description, which is pretty straightforward, and tasks. So for these four work orders, I've just chosen to import the description and left the task part blank. But for the first work order here with code number 56, I've added two tasks. Okay, so to add the second task, all I'm gonna do is for the third line here, attach the work order code, that's the same as the work order I wanna add it for. So 56, and then task number two, and what the task description is, okay? And the order doesn't actually matter here. So if I wanna add a third task, it doesn't need to be right underneath this line. I can add it right at the very bottom. Again, the only thing that's important is I identify which work order it's for, fill in the task number, and then the task. Okay, so I'll save that. Again, very important is I use the file extension .csv. So to do that, I'll need to click a save as, and then just make sure I have the format comma separated values selected. All right, click save. And now we'll follow through with the import. So settings, import, uh, what kind of data am I gonna import? For this particular one, it's work orders. And I'll upload my file. And continue. Okay, so you're only able to import work orders with, um, they all have to have the same status when you import them. So there's no, there's no option for um, having a title here where I can put work order status and import workers having this one with a requested status and this one assigned status. For any import, all the workers in the import have to have the same status and you select it here. So I'm gonna have these ones show up as assigned and then I'm gonna map over. On the left here, these are the titles in my Excel or CSV file. And the right, these are existing fields in the CSV. So um, even though I spell these a little bit incorrectly, like task number in my Excel file is actually work order task number in the CMMS, uh, the system picked up on that and said by task number, you probably meant work order task number. Same thing with task description. 
So everything mapped over okay. I don't have to uh, adjust uh, or do any mappings between the Excel file and the CMMS, and I'm ready to continue. Okay, so sometimes you'll have conflicts. Uh, in this case, I have a work order in the system with uh, the code 56. So this would be a duplicate work order. In this case, uh, I'm going to overwrite the existing work order. Okay, everything looks good and import. So now I'm back in my work orders. I have the four new ones I just imported. And if I click on 56, it also has the three tasks. 